Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'm talking about uh, conjunctions and planetary wars. When does a conjunction become a planetary war? And what is the difference between a conjunction and combustion? Hello, I'm Komela Sutton, and today I am talking about uh, conjunction and planetary war. And most importantly, when does a conjunction turn into a planetary war and the difference between a conjunction and combustion? Uh, now, these are things that uh, words that I use often in uh, my uh, planetary news, and I felt that it is important to do the tutorial uh, so that you understand that uh, what is a conjunction, what is a planetary war, uh, and uh, can work that out. So, uh, firstly, uh, you know, when we look at these uh, aspects, the first thing to study is from your uh, birth chart that uh, if planets are conjunct or planets are in planetary war. So the rule of the conjunction is in Vedic astrology that when a planet is in uh, the same sign, so when two or more planets are in the same sign, uh, they are considered uh, conjunct. So that means that let's say if Venus and Mercury are in the same sign, uh, in uh, Gemini, they will be in conjunction. It doesn't matter how far they are. And you can think about it is that if somebody is in the room with me here, they are influencing me and therefore I am getting influenced by them. And the influences come from the natural karaka of the planet and from uh, what is the house rulership in the chart. So that is the simple form of conjunction. Uh, but then when the planets get too close to each other, uh, so within one degree of each other, this is very important. Uh, when they get within one degree of each other, they are considered in a planetary war. So the five planets only will be in a planetary war. And these are the five planets that are connected to the five great elements. Uh, so planetary war can only be between Mars, Mercury, uh, Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn. So five planets, and you will have that in the natal chart, and you'll also have it in your uh, by transit. And so if you have uh, uh, Mercury at 23 degrees of Gemini and Venus at uh, 20 uh, 330 uh, at uh, Gemini, they are in planetary war. Uh, so then means that they are in friction. In essence, the two planets get so close that they suck away the oxygen from each other and therefore they become uh, conflicted, they become in a difficult position and this affects the psychology of the individual, how they feel internally, and it affects the house rulerships uh, that are, uh, of the two planets. Now, uh, there is a, a disagreement about um, which planet wins the war. So uh, usually they say that uh, some people feel that the planet with the lower degree wins the war. That means uh, 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 in our example, 23 degrees Mercury, 2320 Venus, then Mercury will win the war. Uh, but if we take into account uh, uh, another viewpoint, which says the higher degree wins the war, that means Venus will win the war and it takes all the energy of Mercury along with it. But uh, generally, uh, you know, um, uh, this is a point that... Uh, scholars disagree on. Uh, I have found that when planets are uh, in a youth, or a youth is what the planetary war is called in uh, Sanskrit Hindi, uh, when the planets are in youth, uh, they are uh, conflicting each other, just like any war. Even if there is a victor, there's a loss of life, there's loss of money, there's loss of all sorts of things. 
So really, uh, nobody wins the war according to me. I feel that when planets are in war, uh, they do affect uh, um, both sides of the picture, or even though one may be the winner. Uh, and Venus is always supposed to win the war because it is the brightest planet in the sky. So Venus always wins the war. Any two planets, if Venus is warring with them, it comes out uh, stronger. Now, originally when um, the sages used to look at the planetary war, they used to actually go and look at the sky to see how those two planets are in the sky and uh, see many other things that are there, uh, their declination and uh, how they are actually. But that's not possible. We can look at it, but in a birth chart, say 50 years ago or 40 years ago, we don't know exactly what was visually happening at that time. Uh, so we have to make a decision about it. Uh, but I find that I have seen many charts with planetary wars uh, it is a difficult energy. Now in Shadpal, there is a calculation for youth and the winner takes all the points uh, from the loser. So it makes a huge difference to the planetary strength of the planet that loses the war. So therefore, uh, you need to decide and also put, uh, uh, let me know which ones do you use, which one do you use? Do you use the higher degree to be the winner or the lower degree to be the winner? Generally, I, I uh, uh, err to the side of the higher degree because I feel if somebody is a higher, they are more likely to oppress the person who is at a lower degree or the planet that is at a lower degree. Uh, now, these planetary youths you see very often in charts of uh, A, conflicted person, or B, also people who decide to give up the material world and become swamis and yogis and spiritual adepts. And in fact, in uh, Pravrajya Yoga, which is a yoga of giving up your throne, one of the rules is if many planets are in planetary war, then it creates a personality that wants to give up, even though they may inherit the kingdom, they want to give it all up and therefore they want to become um, more yogi spiritual people. So I see a number of charts of spiritual aspirants as well as great swamis. And I, uh, I, uh, I see that uh, there is some war there because there's some in, internal conflict that is creating this energy for them. However, uh, sun and moon do not create a planetary war and Rahu Ketu also don't create a planetary war. You'll have a conjunction to the moon. That means a planet is in the same sign as the moon. And even a very tight conjunction is not regarded as a planetary war. Rahu Ketu also, it is a conjunction, not called a planetary war. And finally, the sun is different because the sun, when it gets too close to you, he combusts you, he takes the light away. I have made a separate uh, video about that. You can check that out. Uh, I put a link there. Uh, but uh, so when a planet gets too close to the sun and there are different combustion degrees, so we do not call that a war, we will call that a combustion. So that is a separate aspect. So when sun is with any other planet, so say let's say sun is with Mercury, then you have to watch how many degrees away Mercury is from the sun. Because if it gets too close to the sun, sun is so bright, it takes away the energy, you can't see Mercury. So that is a separate issue that you need to keep in mind. Now, uh, you have to see in your own chart, do you have any planet in planetary war? And if you have in your chart, you're more experienced to know which one do you think has won the war. Others also, you also know quite a lot about Jyotish. So please give your opinion whether you think the higher planet wins the war or lower planet wins the war. And then uh, finally, what I like to look at is I look, look at these wars by transit. So, And I have watched these planetary wars for years and years. And at the time when planets get very close to each other, uh, then they are creating this uh, planet friction between the two uh, planets. And sometimes in a year, you may see that Mercury makes three conjunctions uh, with a planetary war with Mars or, or with Saturn because it will retrograde back 
and go uh, and Jupiter as well, Venus as well. Venus, uh, I've noticed that at times when Venus and Mercury get into war, they don't split up uh, because they are traveling the same distance. So you can get like a 10 day Mercury Venus planetary war. Of course, both are benefics. They may not have uh, such a big impact of uh, the war uh, by transit. But they do have some impact and there is uh, some friction that is taking place uh, between different uh, categories of people. Uh, but, uh, you know, these five planets that create war, I watch them throughout the uh, annual um, uh, videos that I'm making of the planetary news. So you get to understand them, you get to experience them, even if you don't have them in your own chart. And we need to keep a balance during the time of friction, because obviously when two planets are in friction, we want to uh, take that energy out on somebody. And that can be uh, very negative and it can create problems for you. So you need to be uh, conscious of that and decide how you're going to deal with it. So uh, I will be making separate videos on each time in the monthly and regular planetary news, so you'll get to know. Uh, thank you very much. Check out my website, komela.com.